Toma, cuádruple tou. Cuádruple tou. Vier fach tou lo. Chitvierzo y tou lo. Yon kai ten tou lo. Si chen tou lo ha. Hou wai dien ling si jou. Can you guess what they are talking about? Toma, cuádruple tou. Yes. You probably have guessed it. They are all talking about the same figure skating jump. Textbook perfect quad toe. As you know, figure skating is an international sport with broadcasters from many countries. Were you ever curious about the names of those figure skating moves in different languages? Eh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. So, in today's video, we're going to learn about the names of the six figure skating jumps in six or more languages. Once you pick it up, you might be able to watch your favorite programs in different broadcasting channels without subtitles, perhaps? Quad toe loop, half loop, triple flip. Before we start the video, let's make a guess on how many figure skating jumps were included in this conversation and write in the comment below. え、その後4回転トーループに集中して、で、トリプルアクセルトリプルトーループのところで4回転サルコやる練習をちょっとだけしてたので、やろうかなって思ったんですけど、それもやめて、その後のトーループはもうちょっと体力が待ってたので、あ
It's mostly an imported word of the name Lutz as the jump is named after the inventor, Alois Lutz. Except, again, Chinese in China. They call this jump. We had explained, which means four rotations. But here comes the name unexpected. Literally means hook as the action shown in the picture. But in northern China, they also call the yes sign as Now take a look at the figure of Lutz jump takeoff prior to leaving the ice. Does it look like a yes sign? Right. We will leave it to your imagination. Remember we have a video about the Chinese nicknames for the figure skaters? That's the thing with these names. Like some of them are about the meaning and some of them are literally just about the sound and then other ones are just the most random thing. Yeah, you have to be like a really hardcore fan to know. Here comes a jump with so many different names and you really have to be a hardcore fan to know all the differences. Number four. This is the quad loop. This is his answer to those young guys. Oh, right over the right side on that landing. Let's hear it. Spanish. French. Italian. Russian. Japanese. Chinese used in Taiwan. And Chinese used in China. For this jump, there are so many names. In most situations, you will hear the commentators use the loop. As it's named after the figure skating footwork loops. Loops is a turn on one foot without change of edge and direction. For the loop jump, the takeoff and landing foot direction and edges are all the same, which is the backward outside edge. Just like the loop turn, then the French uses the translated word of loop in French. But in some situations, they will use Rittberger. Named after the first skater who did the jump, Werner Rittberger. Sometimes, you will hear a jump named Half Loop. Half Loop? Half Loop was frequently used by the skaters to connect the jumps that require left foot inside edge takeoff, such as the Salkow jump and the Flip jump. In season 2018 and 19, the ISU regulated this connecting jump as Euler. Now to the Chinese. We had explained the term for and which means skating backwards using the outside edge and four rotations. Now, literally means nodding a loop. So again, this jump is named after the movement of a loop turn on ice. But still, sometimes the commentators will just use the term loops. Notice the difference of the word rotations used by the Chinese in China and Taiwan. Right? We will explain next in. Number 3. Quad flip. Let's hear it. Triple flip. Spanish. Triple flip. French. Vierfach flip, dreifach tolle. German. Четверным flipом. Russian. Japanese. Chinese used in Taiwan. And Chinese used in China. For this jump, most of them use the imported term of flip so there's not much explanation needed. As mentioned earlier, you might have noticed the slight differences between the Chinese used in China and Taiwan. First of all, in China, they say the name of the jump first and the number of rotations. But in Taiwan, they say the number of rotations first then the name of the jump. Also, Taiwanese use Chien. while the Chinese use Zhou. You might ask why? So, Chien. refers to the shape of the circle. While Zhou. refers to the cycle, or more like the movement of going around in cycle. In this case, Chien. is an adjective to describe the name of jump. Hence he put it before the jump whereby Zhou is like an adverb. Hence it's put after the name of the jump. As for why Chinese and Taiwanese use the different terms? <laughs> Number two. What's up, cool? Let's hear it. French. Spanish. Sure. Yes, sir. Russian Japanese 
桃下，且上 Triple Two 的组合跳。Chinese used in Taiwan. 下破风四周。And Chinese used in China. For this jump, most of the commentators use the imported term of sawcow, named、yes. after the inventor of this jump, Ulrich Sawcow. So there's not much explanation needed. Now that you have learnt most of the jumps, let's do a quick test. Can you pick up the name of the jump from the commentator? School is too easy. Right. In Japanese, kaiten means turns. Who else is a fan of kaiten sushi? But pay attention here. He used four kaiten for quadruples, but. Instead of one kaiten, we are three kaiten. Sarko. This is simply because it's shorter. So, what else do they use to make the name shorter? Let's get to the number one. Triple axel here, the most difficult element in this program. Let's hear it. Spanish. We triple axel. French. Trainoy Axel. Russian. Sorry for accent. Japanese. Chinese used in Taiwan. And Chinese used in China. Well, I guess there isn't much to say about this jump. Triple Axel. Arguably the most famous figure skating jump. For each jump. There is a code name in the ISU judging system for Axel. It's A. So sometimes skaters will just use A for this jump. Three, three, no, triple axel, four, 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 four. Remember our quiz at the beginning of the video. Here's the conversation. Eh, first, four triple axel, Sarko, first, two triple axel, got lost. Eh, then half loop, and I thought I would challenge four triple axel Sarko. But I thought it would be too hard, so I stopped. <笑>え二回転サルコをやってシングループ入ってちょっと四回転サルコやろうかなって思ったんでその後にですか<笑>練習ではできてるのでやろうかなって思ったんですけれどもやめてでその後四回転トーループに集中しでアクセルトーループはいトリプルアクセルドブレトートリプルアクセルトリプルトーループのところで四回転サルコをやる練習をちょ,ちょっとだけしてたのでやろうかなって思ったんですけどそれもやめて<笑>その後のトーループはもうちょっと体力が余ってたのであじゃあトーループやっちゃおうって思ってやりましたで最後にトリプルアクセルも入れてそうですねあのルッツやろうと思ってたんですけどあアクセルできるんだって思って、まあ、できるならやろうって<笑>やりました So there you have it This is the most legendary recovery program done by Yuzuru Hanyu in the Four Continents 2017. These are the jumps that appeared in the conversation. Did you get it right? Let us know in the comment below. Domino, straight A's, moms. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.